Are you ready to use mass digital communication to make money and influence people? Well, one thing you could do is create your very own blog or website, which would be an awesome thing to do if it was 2003. If you want to have a digital presence, you're probably going to want to make an app. But where to start? Let's take a look at the landscape. There are three major OSs you're going to need to be concerned with. iOS, Android, and Windows. There are other ecosystems out there like Ubuntu or Firefox OS, and those are just for weirdos. First, let's take a look at Apple. Before jumping onto Team iOS, know that Cupertino keeps their ecosystem on lockdown. You'll have to follow their rules all the way through. First, you're going to need to enroll in the iOS Developer Program, where memberships begin at $99 per year. To develop the app, you're going to need to download something called Xcode. That's Apple's very own IDE, or Integrated Development Environment. Once your app is ready, you will have to submit it to Apple for approval, and it must fit their very stringent guidelines, or it will be rejected. Android, on the other hand, is a far more forgiving regime. You can put about any dumb thing up there in Google Play and they'll be fine with it. Google really doesn't care. Just go nuts. If you want to create an Android app, you will need to sign up for a Google Play developer account, which comes with a one-time fee of $25. There are a few Android IDEs to choose from, but the official one is Android Studio, which you can download and use on Windows, Mac, or Linux. And then we have Windows. This is by far the smallest of the mobile ecosystems, but which has a large following in the Middle East for some reason. While it is small, Windows' latest bid is to become a cross-platform ecosystem, so it'll run apps on phones, tablets, desktops, and this potentially opens Windows to millions of users. To create Windows apps, you'll need to register for the aptly named Window Developer account, which comes with a one-time fee of only $19, and you'll need to download Microsoft Visual Studio as your IDE, and then just have fun with that. For a more detailed look, check to the PC Mag story on how to create an app. I'm Evan Neshevsky, and I have a cold.